Hello stampers! Today are you ready for a beautiful big buckle card? Look how cute this card is with using the birds and branches stamp set. See how it's a buckle card? And I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. Like I said, it's using the birds and branches stamp set from Stampin' Up. And also, um, I, we'll be using a die from the Birds and More Dies set for this piece here. And for the cutout here, we're going to be using a die from the Triangle Stitch Die set. So let's get started on this. And we're going to start but with our birds. We'll go ahead and stamp them out. And we need one of each of the birds in the set because one face is one way and another face is the other way. And we're going to stamp the solid stamps using soft suede ink. So we'll do one solid stamp with soft suede. There's one bird. Here's the other bird. And then we're going to use uh, Memento Tuxedo Black for the detailed part of the stamp. So we're going to stamp this one here. Line it up, give it a little stamp. Look how cute that bird is. Don't you love these images that you just stamp on top of each other? Don't have any coloring. They're super cute. So there's our birds. And you can either die cut these out or I like to fussy cut them out because that gives me a little more um, closer to the image. I like mine really close cropped. But first, let's um, do some white gel on them first. I like to add to their wings, add a few little lines on their wings and on their tail. And then right at the top of their head a little bit. And I'm going to color their eye in with white. So color both eyes. A few swoops on the wings, a little bit on the tail, and again on the top of the head. Okay, so that's our white um, chalk marker. And then with a um, black the dark basic black Stampin' Blend marker, I'm going to color the center of the eye. Okay, and this brings the eye back to looking pretty normal. So there you have that. Now they're all ready to be cut out. Pretty easy images to cut out. little secret when I um, cut images out I let my scissors do the work I use my whole blade and then I move my scissors use the blade move the scissors that way you're not don't get a choppy look to your cutting There's one little bird. Uh, if you've ever thought about how much of the blade you use before you Take it off your paper and reposition it. There's our second bird. 
So we're going to put those aside. Now those two are done. Now we're going to start working with our main panels for this card. Um, this is this background panel and this background panel. And the larger panel, I'm going to squeeze my Pear Pizzazz ink pad. Whoop, didn't want to close it all the way. I'm not going to use that ink that was in the lid because I pressed the lid into the ink. And we're going to use a um, water painter. I'll put a drop of water in that ink and spread it around here. Pick some up. And I'm just going to make lines from the top down. Just to give a little background for our branches. Okay, so that was Pear Pizzazz. And now I'm going to do the same thing with just jade. I'm going to press that lid into the ink pad by squeezing the ink pad together. I pick, just add a drop of water to it by squeezing my water painter. Add some more lines here. Just a very abstract background we've got going on here. Okay. I'm going to clean my brush. Just squeeze a little bit of water. I just clean it until I don't see any more ink come off of it. There's that done. Okay, now we're going to do a bit of stamping. I have this branch. When you get it, you're going to see it's going to look straight. Okay, I'm going to put it on the block and I'm going to curve the branch part of it. Okay, because I'm going to stamp on this small square. Um, all the dimensions for the pieces are going to be below the video. You just click show more and you're going to see all the dimensions plus links to all of the products used. But this little piece here that's going to go on our buckle is 2 inch by 2.5 and this piece here is 2 and a half by 5 and a quarter. So we're going to stamp this branch on this little piece two times. Stamp one this way. This is soft suede ink I'm using. One down that way. Okay. And then I'm going to take this branch and I'm going to curve it the opposite direction. If I can figure out what the opposite direction is. There we go. I'm going to curve the branch. That way it's curving this way. So I'm going to stamp it on this paper. I want one good long branch here. And then a couple more. Another here. Okay, so there's our branches. Now this was soft suede. Now I want some leaves. I'm going to use pear pizzazz for our leaves. We have this cluster of leaves and it fits perfectly on the ends of these these branches we have here. You just have to line them up. This 
same with this one. For these three branches. just like that those leaves are stamped and I'm going to take the fine point of a dark poppy parade stamp and blends marker and I'm going to make little groups of three dots in the leaf area just to get, give the look of some berries and that breaks up some of that green a little bit adds a little more interest So there's our berries, just that quick. Okay, now we can start assembling our card. Um, put those aside with our birds. And I have this um, card base is five and a half by seven. And then it's scored at 4.25 okay and that gives you your front of your card that's the shorter side and then inside panel is pear pizzazz and it's 4 by 5.25 and the buckle piece that we have is soft suede and it's 2 and 3 eighths by 5.5 and it's scored at three and a half. So you put it on there and score it at three and a half. And this makes our buckle. And we're going to punch the long edge. There's This will be folded under and we're going to punch this side. This is the end of our buckle. And I'm using the detailed trio punch. To round the corners. Okay, and next we need to adhere our front on. Get my trusty glue out here. Adhere it. Then we're going to flatten it out. And we're going to take this die from the triangles layer, the stitch, let's see, rectangle stitch dies. Let's get that right. Rectangle stitch dies. So this is the smallest rectangle in the set. And we're going to cut, die cut this out using the Stampin' Up Cut and Emboss machine. Just like that, it's like magic. Got that all die cut. So there's our opening that our buckle will go into. Okay. So next, this is our inside panel and our buckle, right? So I'm gonna slide that buckle through there and I'm going to line up my green piece where I want it. Figure out where I want that and then where get my buckle right. Okay. So then I'm going to pull this out. That's where I want it. I'm going to put glue all over the back of this. You could use any of your adhesives. Some behind the buckle and we're going to put this in the card okay 
Okay. And I like to give it a little check here just to make sure it's going to be right. Okay. So we got that. We're going to glue this piece on. It's glued on our buckle. There's that piece. And for our trim, this came out of the Birds and More Die set. And it is just cut out of Just Jade cardstock using the Stampin' Up Cut and Emboss Machine. And I'm going to put some glue. Let's see, where do, which side do I want my glue on? Glue on this top side. Okay. So you know I don't make a mess until I get on video and then I have it everywhere. So that's going to go on the inside of this panel here. So it's a trim thing. Okay. I'm just going to buckle this together. See how cute that comes out? Now we just need our birds. And I'm going to pop them up with Stampin' Dimensionals. I just can't help myself. i got to pop them up. Well, dimensionals on there. A couple more. Okay, we're going to put this little bird on here on the branch. So I'd like to give it a look and make sure I don't have some branch coming out of his head. You know what I mean? And then we're going to put this bird up here. I kind of have, like him facing up a bit. And there you have it. Today's card. The big buckle bird card. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.